Well, here's a clue. She was from Barry. And the very girl next door. It was, of course, Helen Morgan who'd beaten off catwalk competition from around the globe to be crowned Miss World. But her tenure would be the shortest in the history of the competition. She was, horror of horrors, an unmarried mum and was hounded by the press, who'd also discovered she'd been cited in a divorce case. Brian Hoey talked to her. So when was it that you decided to go in for the, for the beauty business? I'd never thought of... Um, going in for competitions and then one day um, the agency, the woman who runs the agency that I worked for, she phoned up and said, well, um, this Miss Wales coming up in a week or so's time, would you like to enter? And Miss Wales 1974 is number 19, Helen Morgan. The build-up and the ballyhoo for the Miss World contest in London hides the work that goes on behind the scenes. Yes, here she comes, a girl from Wales, the meteoric rise to fame in the beauty pageants. Helen Morgan, the 22-year-old freelance model. Will she make it tonight? I read the other day in the paper that it's one of the top programmes of the year. And Miss World 1974 is Miss United Kingdom. She's done it. She's done it. Helen Morgan, my goodness, what a career. You don't regard it as a cattle market at all? I don't think so, no. I think it's all just a competition. It's fun. Julia Morley now crowns Helen Morgan as Miss World. Put it straight. She's now got it all with the scepter as well. There's a guaranteed contract of £10,000. Well, for you, of course, the whole thing crumbled into dust. Um, very soon, because you actually held the title for, I think, four or five days, four days. When did you actually decide to uh, resign? I decided as soon as I heard these allegations um, about being cited in a divorce case. I just decided then, you know, I would resign and that would be it.